Hello and welcome to ITNs. So now uh, we have studied about the various storage options, right? Uh, with uh, Azure, and we, we discussed about blog, we discussed about files, we discussed about Azure tables, and then we discussed about Azure queues, right? And we know what is the uses of various storage types, right? Great. Now, uh, there's one more disk type uh, that we want to cover uh, that is Azure Managed Disks. Right. So basically we, what we are going to cover in this session is about Azure Managed Disks and then in that we will see what, what is the difference about uh, the Azure Managed Disk and the disks that we get when we install a new virtual machine. I mean, So that is what we are going to look at on this one and then we are going to talk about what are the benefits and why we should be going for Azure Managed Disks. Alright, great. I will see you in the session then. Thank you. Welcome back to iTunes. So in this session, we are going to look at uh, managed disks, right? We have seen the various types of disks uh, that uh, Azure provides, right? I mean, the blob, tables, files, and queues, right? And we know uh, what are the advantages uh, of having those, right? Now, in this section, we are going to cover another topic that is about Azure managed disks, right? Let's go right in. So what are Azure Managed Disks? Right? So Azure Managed Disks are block level storage volumes and managed by Azure. Managed Disks are used with Azure VMs irrespective of operating system. Okay? So it doesn't matter. I mean, if, it's, uh, if you're using a Windows virtual machine or a Linux virtual machine, you can still have a Managed Disk attached to your virtual machine. Right? Managed disks are associated with uh, storage accounts and managed disks are in VHD format, right? Now, uh, there are uh, various formats uh, uh, that we can have on, um, on a virtual disk, uh, ideally. So, you can have it in a VMDK format or uh, VHD format, uh, which is uh, used in Azure and um, you have other formats. Uh, Right, but for Azure, you, if you are going to use any managed disks, it should be in a VHD format. All right, so any anything like um, data uh, dot uh, VHD. So whenever you're going to create a managed disks, the name whatever you give for the managed disk, it will be in a VHD format. All right, for provisioning the disk, you need to specify disk size and disk type. That's all you want to do when you are going to provision the disk. Okay, you need just need to provide the size of the disk, um, and that would depend on the requirement of the application or um, the data uh, which you want to store in those disks. For example, if you want to use a, a disk for database, it could be in few GBs to a TB. Um, and but if you want to use a disk which you, which you require for data analytics, then it will go in terabytes. All right. So it all depends on the requirement you have. Okay. Disk type options are standard SSD, standard HDD, and premium SSD and ultra disks. So we have seen these options earlier when we did the provision of Ubuntu server on uh, Azure, and we had seen the various options of disk that we get when we configure a virtual machine. All right. Great. Uh, let's move to, to the next one. So. Now, since we know what is uh, Azure Managed Disks, so let's talk about Azure Managed Disks role, right? So, Azure has three main uh, disk roles. Okay, uh, one is used for operating system. Uh, these are the ones like when we configure in a virtual machine, right? Uh, be it a Windows or uh, Ubuntu or whatever operating system you want to do, right? So, it will be installed on a 
on a disk that is the disk which is called as operating system disk and it performs the role uh, required for operating installing operating system now there is a second one that is temporary disk and then third one is data disk right let's uh, touch base on each of them in bit detail so operating system disk associated when a new vm is provisioned and used for installing operating system right now temporary disk now temporary disks are in temporary disks what happen is data persists on vm reboot okay you can attach a temporary disk on on the virtual machine if you're going to reboot a virtual machine uh, the data will be there but if you're going to shut down and power on the virtual machine data would be lost right and then the third one is data disk so data disks if you want um, in what happens in data disk is your data persists even if the vm is shut down right so for example if you want to do some sort of an operation where you don't need the data to be available um it's just your like a like you want to use it as a cache or something um then you can use your temporary disk but if you want to utilize a disk which you want to store your data on the real data on right and which you want to configure or for the database or for data analytics then you would want to store that data on data disk right let's look at some small graphics so you have a, a virtual machine right now you this is your operating system disk right so this is um, like this is the first thing where your operating system will be installed that is your operating system disk row right now then uh, let's talk about the temporary disk so temporary disks um, you can attach uh, on a on a uh, virtual machine now what happens is when you power uh, of the virtual machine the data is lost okay right now the third disk is your um, data disk right so in data disk your data as we said data persists even if the vm is shut down so if you shut down your virtual machine your data is not lost it will be there right and when you power on the virtual machine your data will be available so we can consider a scenario for example when your virtual machine is like lost or it's like um, uh, i mean it's a uh, damage your uh, virtual machine is damaged and you your asked to create a new virtual machine so with that your operating system will be installed on a new disk right but your data you can attach this data to uh, uh, to that uh, virtual machine newly provisioned virtual machine all right great uh, let's move to the next slide all right here we are going to talk about what are the benefits of managed disks so managed disks are highly durable and highly available all right so what what does durability and availability means durability is the life it is in the terms of life cycle of a hard disk all right all right and high availability is in terms of the data that is going to be available uh, using the various um, availability options in azure okay so in normal case your data availability uh, in azure is uh, guaranteed for 99.999% that is five nines right but if you are configuring the disk in the locally redundant storage uh, that is lrs and we have seen this concept in the earlier session right then your availability of data is 99.9999 that is total of 11 nines right and if you want more higher availability and durability then you need to configure the disk in geo zone redundant storage format uh, that is gz rs then the availability goes to 16 nines right so that's that's how you can actually increase your uh, durability and availability of managed disks now managed disks can scale up to 50000 disks of a type per subscription per region right managed disks are fully integrated with availability sets and availability zones right and that's how you can actually utilize uh, them for your high availability options 
Managed disks are isolated from each other to avoid single point of failure that is uh, SPOF so they were protecting uh, data loss uh, in case of uh, data center loss. Managed disk can be assigned granular access control to one or more users. Right? Great so those were the benefits of managed disks let's move on to the next one. So next we are going to look at uh, lab. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a Windows virtual machine and we are going to create um, the uh, temporary disks and data disks in that lab and then we are going to attach those disks to our Windows virtual machine. We will see what happens when we are rebooting and shutting down the VM. What happens to the various disks. Alright. Great. Until then, um, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.